it's true. You can double your FPS using this mod. And I'm not really a big proponent of using mods in video games. I, it's just not the way I like to play my games. They did come out with a patch that did increase performance on PC and PS5. As of the publishing of this video, it hasn't gone live on Xbox yet, but it probably will in the next day or two. Xbox just takes time to do things. Um, if you're playing on a console, you want to make sure you shut off ray tracing at the title screen because that's what that patch is going to do. And if you're on PC, this is supposed to improve your DLSS. But if you're on a 4000 series GPU, you can even double your frames per second using this mod. Now, credit, of course, goes out to Pure Dark here. He's the same gentleman who did this for um, Starfall, whatever the Bethesda game I kept thinking off the top of my head. And so please, by all means, all credit goes to him. Please go and check out his Patreon if this helped you out. Uh, you can donate to him and, and, and help support him. He does this for a lot of other games. But it's a real simple process. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the actual game and show you what the frames per second increase and stuff like that. I'll show off some combat, but I just want to get this information out and you can shut the video down after that. The link is in the description. You basically go ahead and download the mod. If you have a 40 series GPU, I'll talk about more of that in a sec. Once you do that, you're going to extract uh, the file that you get into the game's root folder. This is really easy to do. You just simply go to Steam. Let's do that together. We'll go to Steam together. We're going to go to Library. We're going to right-click on this. Go to Properties. We're going to go to Installed Files, and you'll press Browse. That's going to bring you to the folder that has Dragon's Dogma installed. And once you do that, you simply drop that file that you're going to get from this uh, zip drive right into that. You'll you'll overwrite it and you're good to go. Um, you'll will need to turn on though DLSS and reflex in the game settings, of course. Once you've done that, I, I turn on reflex to on plus boost because this sometimes increases some latency issues. But once you do that, your frames per second will double on a 40 series GPU. Now there is also this mod. If you do not have a 40 series GPU, that will not double, but it will make things work a lot better. Um, it just makes it so that DLSS just seems to, it jumps it up from, D, uh, uh, we'll place the old DLS 3.510 to 3, uh, 3.6. So again, two credit goes here to Ghost DRM who uploaded and created this. Um, my roommate used this, my friend used this, it's not my roommate anymore. Who, we don't live together anymore. <laughs> I'm lost. But he used it and it didn't double his FPS, but things aren't hitching anymore. Things are running a lot smoother. So I strongly recommend this if you are not on a 40 series. There is another mod you can use for 20 and 30 series graphics cards, but it requires a lot more um, tampering with. And if you're not comfortable with that kind of process, just don't do it. Wait for other performance patches to come out. But in the meantime, this is a great way to improve your FPS. If this is all you wanted to know, please just take advantage of the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Go ahead and download them. Please support these individuals. Endorse these um uh, these, what the hell is this called? Uh, these mods, all this stuff, try and support them if they can. I'm just now going to show you what it looks like in the actual game so you can see the improvement on the frames per second. So loading into the game, I'm using a town, for example. We'll show off some combat later. Um, my frames per second here, if you can see in the upper left-hand corner, is around 50 frames. Um, I have the mod installed, but I can use a button to shut off basically what the mod does. Um, it uses the frame mod uh, framework and also helps with DLSS. So you can see running around here, we're at 50 frames. Um, there's not a ton of light and shadows that we'd get at night, which may be a better representation, but it's just worth showing this off. Because we're at 50 frames, I'm going to go ahead and press the button, which is end on the keyboard. It's on by default, so you don't have to press this when you load it into it. Watch my frames go up. Now they're up to 80 and 100 frames, 90 frames, 100 frames. And the game is now much smoother. We just doubled our fucking frames by installing that mod. It was night and day. And like I said, I don't ever really dabble with mods. I like to kind of just keep the game vanilla because to me personally, it's like how the creators intended it to be played. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm all for a quality of life and graphical overhaul mods. mods. And this is kind of best of both worlds. So you can see I'm in a city, plenty of things around. I, don't, I haven't killed any NPCs, anything like that. I'm running through stuff, still flying at about 80, 100 frames a second at least over 60 that were that were smooth now there have been issues where this has caused that people's games to lock up freeze and or crash and the creator said the way to get around that is coming into system going to options going into graphics 
and max your frame rate to either 120 or 60. You can do it in the game or using NVIDIA control panel. It's probably just fine here in the in game. But I have uh, my DLSS set to, here I'll use my cursor since it's gonna not, it's gonna be a jerk, uh, set to quality. I have reflex low latency set to on plus boost because this will give you some input delay. With on plus boost, there is no input delay. And I haven't even turned on ray tracing. I've heard even with ray tracing on, you're still gonna see a significant increase in frames. Ray tracing was dumping my frames. And this is on a, I have a 4090. If you can see in the upper left corner, it says RTX 4090. So I have, all this is set how I've had it prior to doing this when I made my performance videos. These are all the same settings. I just now use this mod, not touching any of my settings really other than turning this to on plus boost to get this massive frame increase from this mod. It is, it is significant. It is so juicy. Huge shout out to Upside who came into my stream and said, yo, why don't you try this mod out? So you can see here, looking really good. Let's jump into some combat though, to show you what it looks like in combat. So you can see uh, the difference in frames per second. I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll show you what it's like with it off and I'll show you what it's like with it on. Right now, our frames are at 82. And of course we're out of town, so frames are gonna be pretty high here. And I'm just pressing buttons. I'm not gonna do any fancy combat. I just wanna have as much kind of particle effect. So I'm gonna press end. It's gonna turn this thing on. And now we're at 146 frames. 132 frames, plenty of particle effects on the screen, 162 frames. Now, of course, that wasn't like a big drawn out huge fight with like a Griffin, but still, you're gonna see those frames increase no matter what. And it's at night too, so we have lots of shadows, lots of light cascading through things. But this gives you a really good idea that with this mod, it's just gonna make the game so much better for you. Like, oh man. Now, of course, if you're not on PC, you're not gonna be able to benefit from this, unfortunately. And I think that the big thing that's gonna happen is when you shut off ray tracing on your console, once that patch comes out, it's gonna really significantly increase your frames per second as well. Because that is a big thing. I'm gonna kill this poor bison cow. Good Lord, how, how American of me to just hunt these bison to extinction is the second I see them. But either way, you're gonna see that a, a huge increase in your frames per second, either using that mod or shutting off ray tracing on console. And just to kind of keep this statically here, 170 frames, press the button, Use them when the need arises. drops all the way down to 95. So you can see that this mod really does help out a lot of ways. And I did this shot in specific because it's nighttime, we've got lighting, we've got particle effects, and it gives us plenty of representation of what the game looks like in those two different modes. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Hopefully this helped you out. Go ahead and check out that link below. Go ahead and pop it in. It's a very simple process. If you want, uh, you can um, save the, the original file and put it onto your desktop if you wanna back it up. If you don't want, if you wanna uninstall this mod, it'd be as simple as verifying files. It'll check to see if it's actually coming from the actual company. If it's not, it'll delete that file and bring the actual one back in. So. When a future patch comes out, you, you, we might be able to not even need this mod, but as of now, this is probably the best way to drastically increase your frames per second with very little impact to the game. And this does not, oh, this is a big thing. Totally forgot to bring this up. This does not affect your achievements. You can still get achievements. I turned this mod on and I still got achievements. Dude, it's weird that his name's Spartacus. That is weird to me that his name is Spartacus. Not now. Oh, funny, this is... <laughs> This is my friends. <laughs> um, but again, you can still get achievements with this mod on and you'll have a drastic increase to your frames per second. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good one and take care.